So this year, FIRST partnered with Star Wars, and many teams have pointed out how this partnership didn't really have an impact on the game very much. So do you guys think FIRST should have done more to make the game more like Star Wars or added some more Star Wars elements? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that, like, you see the FRC game, and it's all about Star Wars. The the objects and the, the game elements are Star Wars related. The entire story behind the game is object, uh, Star Wars related. And then you look at our FTC game. I, I still can't make the connection between Star Wars and our game, besides the fact that you have Star Wars pictures on yeah, the side as your image time. targets. <laughs> and then they also of... release these fake capstones that nobody's going to use that are Star Wars related um i just couldn't see the connection i don't know what you guys thought like i found it kind of disappointing yeah i was yeah i was also disappointed when the game like first came out and you really just saw the the pictures were star wars i thought last year may have been the year to really partner with them with the yeah. space theme but um i definitely thought they could have had done some cool things really incorporating it and there's just a kind of missed opportunity there I think that also, but it was probably hard for them to implement it in because they probably designed the game a year ago or something and then just refine it throughout the next couple months before it's released. So probably by the time they partnered with Star Wars, they already had a game design done and they probably didn't want to change that much afterwards. But don't they do that with FRC as well? They're going to be designing those games a year in advance, two years in advance for both FTC and FRC. So why why can't we get a Star Wars theme as well? And then if uh, it looks like we just put up a poll, uh, so if anyone in the audience wants to uh, vote and see if how, so we can see how you guys think it first should have done with the Star Wars theme, make sure you go vote in that. So out of curiosity, like, what would you guys define as doing more with the Star Wars theme? Like, if you could say, if you could pick, you know, what they could have done, what what do you, what would you have wanted from this theme? I think you call some of the game elements Star Wars related thing. Like, what's a Sky Stone in Star Wars? There's no mention of a Sky Stone in the entire Star Wars trilogy. Or you, like, so make it like you're building the city of Tatooine or whatever. You're building some Star Wars city. Just make it like an actual Star Wars game. Don't like say that it's Star Wars related and just put pictures of Star Wars, but don't call anything Star Wars. Like just naming things would have made it a lot better in my opinion. All right. What about you guys? Um yeah, I mean like the uh the only thing like that I've originally like noticed at the beginning when the game came out was like the sky the sky stones had like a little like black, you know, image on it and it was like it had some like cargo crates on it, so it's kind of like, um, you know, Star Wars themes. But then I noticed like the Vuforia targets. But then like, you know, at the same time, like no one really uses the Vuforia um, targets on the, <laughs> you know, uh, they're not really that noticeable. Yeah, I I do agree with the uh, Kashik though that the that it would have been really hard if they already had this game like completely designed and then someone from like a different part of headquarters is like hey we've got this partnership with star wars can you guys make like make your game star wars right i mean there's not i don't think there's a ton they could have like instantly done but i i, I agree with ashan that the that you can definitely see the resemblance in frc more than FTC. i'm, I'm just going to weigh in here there is a huge missed opportunity with the bars across the field to be lightsabers that I mean, what a what an easy oh, thing yeah. to to draw in for something like that. That takes absolutely no creativity at all. <laughs> yeah, they they could have easily made the center bars purple and then left it blue and red, and it would totally be lightsabers. Um, one of the things that I think they could have also done was um, they just like I talked about the renaming. Hopefully, they will do something in the future because it looks like First is going along with these themes and partnerships. Like last year was First Launch, so they made everything space related, but I still couldn't really tell how last year's was related to space. Besides, the rover kind of looked like a rover, but not really. Um, and so I hope that now that like it's gotten into the cycle and they probably know what those themes are going to be ahead of time, it's a little bit better. But I don't, I don't really know. What do you guys think? I, I, I definitely def think themes ahead, for Brian. games is a is a great idea, and so I I really hope first improves on it, and and I also think like the connection between FRC, FTC, and FLL and FLL Junior, like I think that connection for all of the um, games is something really cool, and I hope that first keeps doing that. 
Yeah, so we asked our audience about should first have done more with the Star Wars theme, and 70% of you guys said yes. Um, I think all of us agreed that they could have done a little bit more, even if you don't go over the top and add, like, fancy logos. And it's like those little things. Just add add naming schemes that makes it Star Wars name uh, that I think would make it better. And I'm really hoping that next year and the year after, now that they've gotten into their cycle, that they have these common naming schemes, they'll get to do more of that. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.